There's just been a misshift oh contact that happened on the last race. They're four wide. They're four wide. They're still wrecking. Oh. Hey guys, this is Mike Jones and welcome to the 1000 subscriber special. We are at the B main event. Average finish from about 8th to 11th in the heat races made the B main event. Just missed out. These top guys missed out by one position. If they would have got a seven and a half average finish, they would have made it. Ouch. Kellen Oakley is going to be on the pole, though. We have 36 cars. The last uh, the last six cars just transferred from the C main event. But anyway, Oakley, Lopez, Motorsports, Carter, Martinez, Cookie, Jacko, William, Andres, Lee, Nick Spann, Oliver Zabrowski, Kirby, Campion, Kennedy, Moore, Giobaldi, Morgan Jacko, Gardner, Schaff, Ramos, Pace Cars Off, Coda Butcher, uh, Leclerc, Vlaxen, Rainey, Holloway, Ozkin, and all the rest of the field right there as we're about to go green flag racing. So yeah, here we go, 30 laps, top six, make it to the 42 car, 60 lap main event, 30 laps to go for these guys, Oakley's going to lead them off. That last C main event was pretty crazy and you had no idea who was going to advance and who wasn't. Lopez makes it to the inside very fast, Crispy's cookie flies out to the outside fast, I don't know if that's strategy or if he has an issue. I mean, that was very early move to the outside line. Uh-oh, the 96 in the back also looks like he has a problem. Are you kidding me? He just did all of that work to make the B main event and now his car's having issues? Jeez. Hopefully he can get whatever that is fixed. If I was able to get back down and got back up to speed, must have just been a misshift oh contact that happened on the last race. They're four wide. They're four wide. They're still wrecking. Oskin, there's... Caution is out. Oh, he comes back up to take himself out. That was... Oh, my goodness. I think that was Coda Butcher. A lot of the cars that transferred from the B main are involved. Why are they racing this hard? They really want the main event. That's Napa Cub. Goal at least having the issues was... Oh, no. Rainey's involved. Shaft, Camright Jr., Dale Earnhardt Jr., 88, who won the C main, is damaged bad. Velaxan, Coda Butcher, Burnett might have, yeah, I think all these guys got involved too. Let's take a look at some replays. These guys were just racing way too hard. I don't even know what happened. Oh, Moore got clipped by Jacko and came down on Coda Butcher and then... It all broke loose after that. It was still green, and that's when the caution came out. Oh, he got turned into the wall. Napa Cup's going to be done. That is some heavy damage. Still going to try to continue to race. As they continue to crash afterwards. It's some bad luck for Coda Butcher, too. I mean, it wasn't his fault that came down, and then he got knocked under the yellow line. When he came back up, it was four wide, and four wide doesn't work. Comes back down. This is where he should have slowed down more than he did. And, oh, man. Just almost saved it. Gets clipped. Oh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. 88 gets involved right there. Basically, all these guys in the back, are, chances are almost done. Maybe Burnett has a shot at it. Maybe Funky Kong. Acosta. Yikes. Somehow, Sam and Ozken runs away without getting too much. We're on board with Nampa Cup. Watch that 19 get right in the back of the 48. Just turn, gets him a little bit sideways. They're still running full speed right here. And yeah, it just closed up. The gap just closed up. And oh, that hit right there. That's probably the worst hit of, uh, of the crash. Hopefully, Gold can get his car fixed. At least uh, that might have helped him. He would have probably been involved. Let's see what happened to the two, because he had some pretty heavy damage, too. It looks like they go down and come back up. Oh, he got... Oh, he just... Just that little contact? That wasn't that hard. I mean, that could have been harder. Wow. Just hits the 47. 
And apparently just at the right angle to do a lot of damage to his car. Take one more look at this. The 828 goes down and sandwich happens. And man, he comes down on the 88, his teammate. If he wouldn't have came down on the 88, that wreck would not have happened. But he bounced back like a pinball machine, came back up the track. Ouch. All right, pace cars off. We're going green this time by Nampa Cup. And Aiden Beck didn't even start the race. I didn't even notice that. I don't know what happened to him. But Nampa Cup is out. That's two nine cars out of the race. 34 cars left. Green flag is out for Oakley again. Well, now that they're single file, hopefully it takes them a little bit to get dicey. And that did not take them that long, did it? Wow. Lopez gets on the outside, and Andreas and Nick's fan on their way up. Nick's fan was fast in his heat races. He just got in a wreck and got last place in his second heat race. But I was thinking he'd be the car to beat in this this uh, whole thing. But uh, if, he might not even make the main event if he has some more bad luck. <clears throat> Looks like we're good so far. Brian Martinez stuck on that outside along with, I don't know who that is, Kirby and the 39 there. Kennedy in the 24. We got a lot of Hendrick cars. Here goes Lee for third. Top six make it. And you have a top six pack right now. If these guys would just go single file, they'd all make the main event. But uh, since they're not, they're probably going to get caught up on three wide for third place. And that's Connor Jacko. Not going to be able to make the pass. Andres and Oakley continue to lead. Velaxen, Gull, Rainey, they all have heavy damage. Oh, we got all these guys stuck behind, I think, the eight. All of these guys have damage. And that might be all of the cars that transferred from them. No, Funky Kong and Martin Cliff still have shots at this. They both are transfer cars. That's what happens when you start in the back, though. You have a big chance of getting involved wrecks that aren't even your fault. Andreas, two-car tandeming, basically, with the five of Oakley, as they got some space between them. Wow. Wow, we have two three cars that are basically almost the same, too. Oh, he's going for the lead. He's like, yeah, I got enough space. That was smart. Push him out in front to where he can't get any draft help, and then boom, take the lead. Except you don't need the win. You just need a top six. <laughs> Andreas is going to be your new leader, I think. I don't know. That draft's coming for the outside first. Yes, Andres barely leads the lap first. Basically a tie. Wow. The 33 car is the fastest lap. I can't remember who that is. That is Leclerc. Andreas still not able to control the lead. Nick's fan giving a big push to Oakley up there and gave him the lead back. Wow. And with that, he gets stuck on the outside. All of that help for nothing. Man, oh man. Well, it looks like after that first wreck, they've uh, calmed down a lot compared to what they've been doing. As we have finished 10 laps, 20 laps to go at the line here. Kellen Oakley, definitely the car to beat. I mean, he started pole because he just barely missed out on the main event anyways. So, yeah. Dang, I just can't believe how badly damaged these cars are. I don't think Goal is that slow. I think he's just stuck behind the two. And the rest of this field, they're definitely just damaged too much. Oskin must be two. And Jackal, that's everybody that was involved that wreck. So even a slightest bit of damage is enough to knock your car off, off of the chances of complete, competing, I guess. Until everybody gets damaged. <laughs> Which in the main event, 60 laps, that's probably the case. It's going to be who survives, who wins it. 
Right now, the best place to be to survive, though, is in the lead. We got a four-car single-file action going on, and then two more. Man, this is crazy. Leclerc makes it a five-car single-file. And Martinez says, I want to pass. <laughs> so... They're going to start slowing each other up a little bit again, but he's going to take third away from the three of Giobaldi. We already got a lap car. Lap car's messed up the five car in the C main. He would have made it to the main event, too. Now we got Oakley, who's about to hit this lap car. Martinez going for second. He ain't wasting any time. He wants that lead. Holy cow, he's... He's making moves. There's the lap car, the 42. Are they going to make the right move? It came on the back stretch, which is good. Oh, he comes up to block the high line. And that is going to mess up Connor Jacko and Leclerc and both of the three cars. Ooh, and it really slowed them down. Then he comes down to block the inside middle lane. Ooh, contact in the back. That was Zabrowski and the 39. But they keep going. A 42 car doesn't look too damaged, but it is definitely damaged. He was in the wreck, but his car doesn't even look that bad. Maybe he uh, revved up the engine too high or something. Obviously, has to have engine damage. It's going to block all of these Hendrick cars now. And with all that spacing between them now, this is where our pack breaks up and our chances of caution go down. Oakley continues to lead. And when's the la next? We're going to have two more lap cars. That's going to be maybe a lap or two. We're going to complete lap 14 this time by. Funky Kong came from the B main event, or the C main event. He's in the top five, in the top three, going for second place. What if, if he makes the main event? That is super like rewarding to begin with he doesn't that'd be crazy i can't believe he made it up there from the c main i honestly didn't think i mean your chances of that martin cliff's in the top 10 he's also from the c main so your chances are still there Here comes Jojo Carter for second. Oakley has led, I believe, almost every lap except for one. As we get single filed out everywhere. Man, this is going to be crazy. Moore coming back. Moore's had a lot of bad luck, too, being involved in a lot of wrecks. Technically, he was involved in the, this wreck in this race because he got clipped by I believe Morgan Jacko and came down and hit some other cars there's the two two lap cars that's going to make it even harder to outlap them Martinez in fourth place Connor Jacko, they used to be teammates in the career mode. I don't know if they still are. Yeah, I think they still are. Are they? It's hard to keep up with you guys sometimes. Oakley gets stuck. Oh, but it might have worked out. Look at the big run the outside's getting because of the lap cars. Oh, my goodness. Oakley, you have to go for the pass now or you're going to get stuck. And Moore is going to not only lead the lap, take the lead with Martinez... Oh, contact, and Knicks fan gets involved almost four wide. This is getting scary. Oh, my goodness. They just about crashed in front of the field. Oakley's going to have to do a lot to make it back up there now. I was just saying how good Funky Kong was doing. Well, four wide, four wide, four wide, four wide, four wide. How? How did they not crash? Lots of... Oh, and it's not! It's crashing! Gardner and Zabrowski. Funky Kong took them out.
That could have ha Caution is out. Yes, Caution is out. Stewie Moore is going to continue to lead the race. Luckily, those two that got spun should not have too much damage. Martin Cliff, third. Fourth, Oakley. Or, wait, what? Sorry, Martin Cliff, second, third, Oakley. Uh, then we have Martinez, and Knicks fan, and I believe that's Gio Baldi? No, that is Andreas. So, yeah, let's go take a look at that replay. And here we are coming to it. Funky Kong just clips the one. And there they go. That's Gardner. Oh, that second hit. Oh, if they would not have done that, that first one was nothing. That second one was hard. Yeah, that second hit is probably going to kill their chances of doing decent. And as you see, Funky Kong gets into the one after all this contact. I think he was trying to kind of go for the pass, but I have no idea. And then boom, there goes the rest. And then that extra clip right there, ouch. I just can't believe they didn't crash when they were 4 wide. Look at the closing rate Zabrowski had on catching up to this pack because of all those cars slowing them down. So they weren't even in the main pack anyways. But somehow they just barely wrecked. I mean, wow. And they were fine after that, and then boom, that hit there. Oh, man. That hit there did him in, I think. Let's go to the green flag. Pace cars off. We're going green this time by less than 10 laps to go. So lap cars are not going to the inside. Stewie Moore going to lead them off. And uh, we have four cars a lap down. Nobody's out of the race after that one, but Zabrowski and Gardner have some heavy damage. So they'll probably be off the pace too. Green flag is out for Stewie Moore. Oakley's probably going to try to get right back up there. Yep, I knew it. Oakley trying to get past Martinez here before they even get up to speed. Less than 10 laps to go, so it is crunch time. Martinez needs to get back to that inside line as fast as he can. He should be able to fairly easily, too, because the 96 is damaged, so he is slowly. At least I thought he was. Maybe he's not. But he's not for position anyway, so Martinez is still in six, but here comes Holloway. Stewie Moore has an issue! Stewie Moore has an issue! He... No, oh, from the lead! They are slow! Super, super slow! They're wrecking! Caution is out! Are you kidding me? We will have a green-white checkered or something close to that. Caution is out! Martin Cliff from the C-Main is leading the main event. Andreas second, third, Holloway, Leclerc, and Cookie comes back to fifth, and Gio Bali is going to be in the last transfer spot. What just happened? Out of all of the bad luck, Stewie Moore has the worst now because he went from the lead to have an issue. Let's go take a look at the caution. Now, I have no idea what happened here. He's still going up to speed, 170. Yeah, something broke right there. I don't know what it was. Definitely could have been either just a tire going down or engine issues. And uh, he tried to make it to the inside, but they were they were passing below the yellow line there, and he just had nowhere to go. There's nothing he could have done. Big wreck for all these guys. And that's even more cars that won't be able to be up to pace. Prince William, we haven't talked about him. I don't know if he got in there. Oh, big heavy damage on Coda Butcher, but he's a lap down. Juan Lopez, who won his first heat race, has just had bad luck since. Camry Jr., a transfer person, also, I think, going to be involved. All right, slowing down the pack. Look at the run the 43 got. That's how much slower he was going. They start stacking up like crazy behind him. He's trying to get off the track, but those other cars are racing off the track. And, jeez, that just took out a lot more cars. He starts slowing down the field. Here comes, dang, it cost a fast. And look at that, he tries to go down, but there's cars racing down there, and... And that was probably 
Ozkin's only chance. He had damage, so he needed to get in front of some cars to make sure he didn't fall off the draft, but he's going to be done after that. So is Stewie Moore. We're on board with Samit Ozkin. He didn't even let off the gas until right before that. That, I don't know. Jeez. Just, just a collision of cars in front of him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, his engine definitely has problems. He's probably going to go straight to pits. We're going green this time by a lot of cars are out of the race. I can't even go through all the... Oh, Funky Kong was involved? Green flag is out. I think the only guy that has a shot from the C-Main is Martin Clifton. He's getting passed right on the start by Andreas. That is going to give us four laps, I believe, to go Yes, four laps to go. Does Cliff have an issue too? It's like you don't want to be in the lead. Anyway, the 0, zero the 448, the 121, the 27, the 1, the 348, 117, 88, 102, and 28, and 42 all retired now. Jeez, a couple more blown tires. Martin Cliff made it all the way up there. He must not have a very good acceleration car because he is... Oh! Contact Acosta! Oh! Another one! That will end the race. Caution will end the race. And the 96 of gold is probably going to get his lap back. Andreas is going to win. All he has to do is finish a couple more laps. Leclerc. Holloway. Acosta. Gio Baldi and Cliff somehow still got sixth. If he can hold it for a couple more caution laps, he will make the main event. Somehow Burnett just about made it because of all these crashes. He was involved like two of them. Nick's fan just going to miss out along with all the rest of these guys. Um... Stewie Moore got towed and still going to end up like 13th. That's what happens when everybody crashes. I think Martinez might have been involved. Oakley, probably the favorite of the race. Morgan Jacko, let's take a look at the replay. Oh my gosh. The sad thing is, I don't even know what happened here. I think Kennedy gets into Acosta. Uh, Acosta comes back. Oh, Kennedy comes back up into Morgan Jacko and... Oh my gosh. How did Cliff get through that? Oh my gosh. He hit the wall and somehow still got sixth. Ramos once again gets in a big wreck. That ends his chances. Oh my gosh. We're on board with Cliff to see how he made it through this crash. And still makes it to a transfer position. After getting slammed into the wall right here. Oh my gosh. He knew he had to go for it. Oh, Nick's fan just was just a little too slow. Oh, he just misses out. But he gets past, I think, right there, too. I don't know. If if Cliff or Burnett have to pit, Nick's fan might be okay. Their cars just have to hold on for a couple more laps. Oh, my goodness. Here's another look at it. And, yeah, that sucks because they came back right in front of Morgan Jacko and just took out the field. Crispy is Cookie also involved. Brian Martinez had nowhere to go. I thought he was going to make it through. All he had to do was stay forward. and He could have had a shot at it. Dang. It's like everybody got turned around in that mess. The 19 of Connor Jacko missed out because he spun right before the line. I mean, wow. Because coming to the crash right now, I think he had a shot at... Oh, he just got into the two. Yeah, he would have had a shot. He would have probably passed Cliff there. Oh, that sucks. It's heartbreaking for, like, the whole field. It literally is. Here we come to the checkered flag. Andreas is going to win the B main event. He will be transferred in. Second is Leclerc, then Holloway, Acosta, Giobaldi, and Clift. Clift comes from the C main to the A main event. I cannot believe it. Burn it just about did that, too. Wow. That is... We've never seen anything like that before. Oh my gosh. Nick's fan, Burnett, just missed out. 
big wreck fest and now they're gonna go to a main event and have even more of a wreck fest probably motorsports prince william shaft more cookie campion kirby jacko ramos kennedy oakley martinez jacko we had 22 cars and only six could make it and they just destroyed each other coming to the line and even the cars that got destroyed i mean I think Giobaldi and Cliff both had damage coming to the line. Acosta was basically in the wreck too, so only the top three made it kind of unscathed. <laughs> wow, I did not expect that. Funky Kong looked like he had a shot at it, but he got in that big wreck, be the second to last one. Lee, Carter, Zabrowski, Gardner, Lopez, all these guys retired from getting in wrecks. Oz can basically was at fault for that one just going full throttle on the apron Dylan our junior 88 wins the C main but does not do too well in the B main rainy then we got butcher with the tire down Valadin with the tire down Napa cup and Aiden Beck didn't even get to start it I don't know what happened with him there we go Andreas Leclerc Holloway Acosta Giobaldi and Martin Cliff are going to make it to the main event. Martin Clift has like the best luck I've ever seen. How can you go from doing so bad in your heat races to just barely, barely making it? I mean, sixth place is the last transfer spot to the main event. Burn it missed it by one. Like, wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe for more, ring the notification bell, and all that good stuff. We'll see you in the main event. This is going to be probably the biggest race of the channel. So do not miss it. I will have all of these premiering the same day. So it should just be a little bit later after this one. We'll see you guys next time.